I had $100 in my hand when I arrived here in Chicago. Weeks ago, U.S. Army veteran James Nicoletti moved back to his hometown with just the clothes on his back, some cash, and a blanket. I had to sleep in that bathtub. That's where I slept. I put blankets on the, on the bottom so I don't get so I don't get cold. He said his life was going down the drain, so he called a crisis line looking for help. And then Berwyn police officers showed up to his door. I thought, it's over. You know what? They're going to put me away. That fear replaced by hope after responding officer Ed Tovar and his colleagues embraced the veteran by pooling their own money to get Nicoletti a few groceries and toiletries. But it didn't stop there. It just didn't sit right with me, so I, I went home and gathered some toiletries and uh, some other items that I wasn't using. Um, gave them to Mr. Nicoletti, and that's when I decided to start a Facebook campaign. Nearly two weeks later, that campaign drew hundreds of dollars in donations from the Berwyn community and all over the country. Today, those donations were formally presented to the 66-year-old veteran. Berwyn police officers and firefighters carted them up to Nicoletti's once empty apartment. Well, wow, that's a lot, George. The sight brought tears to his eyes. Nicoletti says now he no longer feels alone. These gentlemen helped. They gave more in an hour than Heinz gave in 15 years or 26 years of my life. He says these officers and firefighters and all who helped are part of his new family. Mom and dad, are you looking at this to see this? They came to take care of your son, not to hurt me no more. In addition to all the donations you see here behind me, come Sunday morning, nonprofit group Home to Home will fill Mr. Nicoletti's apartment with all brand new furniture. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.